Today on Alaskan Ballistics, the Olight Warrior 3S. They sent this out for review, so I don't mind using them. I use them on a lot of my gun lights, almost all of them. They also have the switch and a mount. So hey, let's check out what they can do. Thank you for coming back to Alaskan Ballistics. Thank you for checking out this review. Very, very nice flashlight. Before all that, make sure you go to our MeWe page for all of our affiliate links. Anything not on sale at Olight, you can get a discount with AB10, 10% discount with that code. So make sure you use that code. I've not had any problems with Olight, so I think they're great. Anyway, don't forget to check out our Arms Directory MeWe page for all of our other affiliate links and in the link description. And don't forget to check out my other channel, Boss Custom Music Writing, for some original classical music. All right, here is the Olight Warrior 3S. Let's open this bad boy up and take this thing right here and cut open this plastic because I forgot my knife. Wait a minute, there's a knife right here. It's old K-Bar and a drop point knife. There we go. There we go. It's 30 seconds of my life. I'll never get back to opening that wrapper. It's pretty well packaged there. So let's slide this out, see what we got. I guess it just slides right out. Oh, nope. It opens this way. It's like a magnetic lockbox. It's pretty cool. Let's see what we got in here. We have a little congratulation card. Comes with a nice pouch. It's pretty cool. Molly webbed on the back. And let's open this up. Oh, there's that little clip in there. And that looks like an Olight 5000 milliamp rechargeable battery. That's pretty cool. So you can carry replacement batteries like this if you charge them up. We're going to put that back in there like we found it. Now that we get that light out of the way, let's see here. Okay, that's pretty bright. It's supposed to be 2,500 lumens. We'll check that out in the dark in a minute. Ah, and there's that, or 2,300 lumens. There's that. Bright, 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 bright light. There we go. Double click it to be in the bright mode. There we go. And it does have a tail switch too. So if you want to use it as a weapon light, you can. There you go. Nice warrior. Beautiful, beautiful flashlight. And here's some stats. Your turbo high, medium low. Right there. On the highest one, looks like it'll, that's how long they'll run. 13 hours, there you go, on low, 130 hours, there you go. So, looks like it's got some different settings as well that I'll have to play with. And you can see all of the features there. If you want to pause the video and read that, there you go. Here we are looking at the stairs. I've got the flashlight right here. Obviously, it's dark, so it's hard to see. We're looking at the dark stairs at my house that go up and out the door. So here we go on low light. It's a nice, usable light, especially inside the house where it's not too bright. And double click. Whoa. That's pretty bright. I like that. It's almost too bright if you're looking at it directly. Almost too bright for the eyes, which is good. That's a good problem to have. There you go. So to make this ready for Picatinny rail use, you can take this clip off just by prying this. They're on pretty good. 
you can just pry these little tabs right there and that should get it to come off there we go now that won't be in the way for Picatinny rail use so we have this little rail adapter for any flashlight that Olight makes I assume and it probably could do just about any one inch flashlight and let's open it up and let's see what it does what it looks like all right okay so you got some tools in here looks like that's probably an extra piece got some stick-on pieces in here as well and that's actually what you have in there no stick-on just this I think that is polymer and this part's metal I have to be double checked so this is even easier than I thought I was trying to find a pair of pliers to you know, you know grip on this and turn it but all you do is pull it up and turn it and that will allow you to put things in it there you go should be easy to put on and off so the battery cover is a little thick to put in here so we're just gonna once you get this all the way open just slide it in there there you go and put your battery cover back on if you want to use it just as a push button with the battery cover on the back you can do it that way there you go now charging this it does look like it comes with a charger right here and so you can either carry spare batteries or use a charging cable with this so I like to use the ones that came with and so that charging cable does fit on the back of here magnetically so if you're just using it as a push button on the back of a gun that's probably okay so you will have to take off your tail switch if you use their tail switch part to, to charge it so that's okay though at least with this one you can carry multiple batteries charged that's pretty good so here is the pressure switch that you can use for the Olight and use it for the Warrior and this pressure switch has high and low on the back side here it looks like it'll fit into a Picatinny rail so if you have that on top of your rails already that's great it's a good place to put it on top so this end cap here actually fits over the end cap that way and it has a lock you push it forward pull it back for unlock and that way you can put your charger on easily without having to do much without having to screw it on or anything like that so that's pretty nice it's a nice feature all right i got this olight warrior 3s all set up now you might wonder why i put this on the bottom and not the side and it's because the m-lock rails were going to hit my gas block and they still did i had to only put one m-lock screw in as you can see right there but it's on so tight i'm not worried about it and you know rifle length gas system on an 18 inch barrel and so this is actually pretty good i put one strap here to hold that cord on one strap there i couldn't put it through all of this because it was going to go around the gas tube this is a pretty narrow handguard on this psa and it's an 18 inch psa but you can see right there that's the high and there's the low but right there you just touch it and let go and it's on permanently hold down and it's you know momentary again touch it let go hold down huh. hold down and let it back up there you go and so it's right where my wife's hand can reach it if she reaches around the front grip like this and that's the perfect spot for it to be honest with you really really like it so we might move it if we can get some more of these zip ties to the side if she likes it just to, with her thumb on the side better i like it better here and we might even move this so that she c clamps but she does like this so all up to her but what do you think oh if you hit this button right here three times it'll strobe give somebody a seizure there you go. wonder if it'll give a brown bear a seizure when you brown bear's charging when you do on. What do y'all think? All right, I've got the Olight Warrior 3S. 
on here with the pressure switch and the light attachment and kind of had to go on the bottom because of my uh, weird uh, gas block position on this rifle, 18 inches. But here's the low. You can see that pretty good. It's not even dark yet, it's still sunset. Here's the high, which is really nice. And then you can just touch it and it stays on. Here we go. Try the low, touch, touch it, stays on. <laughs> and so that O light stays on while you're shooting. It's really nice. Only thing I don't like is you can't do the strobe with the pressure switch. You have to do the strobe with the button up here on the flashlight. The one, two, three. So, there's that. Boy, you can see that from hundreds of yards away if you needed to. So, there we go. Great flashlight. Survived the recoil of the gun better than the steel target did. Warrior S O light. Don't forget, Alaskan AB10. Well, that's your discount AB10 for to support Alaskan ballistics with O light. And this is actually the nicest flashlight on any of my ARs, in my opinion. Don't forget, Olight will have a sale from January 10th to January 12th on these products that I've been showing on my channel lately, the Sig Gerd and now the Warrior 3S. So make sure you go check out the sale. If you want a non-sale item, use discount code AB10. 5,000 milliamp battery. Works out well. Doesn't add too much weight. Had some in the front, but that just helps keep the muzzle down. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget our Instagram, MeWe, Facebook, Jump, all those places that we are. Arms Directory is a big one now because they're Pro 2A. Check out the links there. We have all of our affiliate links there. Guys, God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range. Mm -hmm.